is the part where it becomes absolute carnage. How good is a straw chopper? Oh. The big question of the day, where do we even start? Good morning everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday bit. In today's video, it's time to make a calf pen. So this is the area that I want to make a viewing area in the plan. I would like to put a door through there and make it into a bit of an area so people can kind of come. Obviously we're gonna tidy this up because this is a mess. It's been like two years, we really sort that out. Redo the walls, probably redo the roof. I'll speak to uh, Mr. Waring and make it to like a, so people can come and have a look. But at the moment, I've got no place, nowhere to put carbs. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with that. But where the hell do you start? The bale is obviously gone, that has disappeared. And the next one is, Let's get going, let's get this tidied up. Honestly, my head is just, I have no idea. There's so much rubbish everywhere. First thing I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? Take all these water fittings off because they're not gonna do anything. Like even a copper fitting, like it's a good fitting that. Probably put it somewhere, never find it again. Oh, that's a good fitting as well. That's really useful. Exciting. All the water, the water fittings off. Tidy these water pipes up. Me and Luke just did that for lunch. It's half lunch. That was a pain in the ass. It's harder than it looks. Um, tidy them up, put the water off. So we're thinking, Dad was thinking of putting the bedding area there and then feeding them here. I don't know if that's just going to be hard work. So I was, I know it's a pain in the ass to move everything there, the hay bales back in that corner, and then to actually make that into the bedding area where we've done it before, put a bay back. I think we'll have to move everything over there make this area into the bedding area. I think, I really do think. It's not ideal, and nothing is ideal. We'll have to move everything there, which is gonna be annoying. I think this is gonna be the best option. That has been moved. The sawdust will end up using what the idea is. So we've got a bit of a passage. We'll use the sawdust in time. So if we want some hay, we can just go to there. Or if we want a straw blower, we go to there. Because this is going to be from this corner to that post, slurry or like feeding area. So where they can, where we can scrape it up, excuse me, scrape it up to there and that'll be bedded. So I'm going to move the bales for the 12th time. It's not actually the 12th time, actually. Bale got made, put on the trailer, move to there, move to there. Move to there, move to there, so we fourth time. And if we feed it out next time, it's the fifth time. Oh, it's a biotech. 200 grams per bed. The best stuff you'll put on cow cubicle beds any day of the week. Right, right, let's get moving. Some fails again for the 12th time. Oh, and I have robbed it next door neighbor's uh, JCB because it's so much more agile. So this JCB would be perfect size-wise, fantastic for us, and I think it'd be the best. Just could do a little bit more power because when you're pushing like the mid up and stuff, but compact size, really, really good. And height wise, obviously, you understand we've got it in a very, very tight spot. I was uh, at a &E yesterday, um, last night till about 12. Joe didn't, get any, didn't, Joe didn't feel any movements of baby. Good news, movements are good, it was fine. Uh, just having a bit of a quiet period, but obviously you've got to check all these things. So I was meant to go up at three to edit my video. I was meant to go up at three to edit my video. I didn't get a chance. Well, I got up at half four because I thought Katie was here, get all my jobs done then at eight o'clock. I'll get in the house and finish the video, get out for, for about half nine. Obviously that's not happened, so it's kind of screwed me up because I was going to move all these bales. Okay, going to scrape it up, bed up, and carbs. But that's completely my fault. Got to love it. So, these, there's only a few left, two, two layers for there. Let's not talk about that. It's not the best work I've ever done. Yeah, definitely. Lower down there, lower down there. Four points, down there, down there. So those bales are moved. Luke and Dad just put a water trough there. It's an old water trough we had. 
and then the idea is to gate it up. We've got some spare gates, so we're just gonna gate that there. And I just need to work out how much length of gate I need here. I think it was 10 yards, doing the old classic. One, two, four, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, 12. Sorry, string. Let's get these two gates and get this. You're good, yeah, you've missed. You've got a few inches my side. Dad just pushing the sawdust that's here, making sure there's nothing that shouldn't be here. One, two, three. So after moving the bales, I should have left two out, but I didn't. So Dad's going to try and get two now. We'll leave him with that job. Three, two, one. Next job is water. And luckily we have an old water tap that's there. Tapping into here. These, by the way, push up joints stop taps and joints worst thing ever you know why because use them once can't use them again this thing or these the normal ones are great because you can use them like three times and uh i've got a special device that you can tighten these with do i know where it is no it's a class it's a very good machine so you're saying this will be off see if this works 20 mil why anyone would use 20 mil back in the day i think 20 mil was just the standard size now <clears throat> Pointless. It's exciting. Are we leaking anywhere? That's good. Hey! We have water. That's a good start. I was like, oh yeah, well the first one we'll just do manually. Boom in a bit! Oh, I don't miss doing this. So we're getting there. Barrier's done, water done. Gate there, so when you want to scrape them up, just chuck them through there, gate there. Last job is just tie that bit, and then Luke's on the straw. How good is a straw chopper? Oh, I mean. <laughs> a bit solid. Gotta love it. Once you've had a straw chopper, I don't think you ever go back, apart from today. <coughs> and it's dusty. So we are back on the day after the day before. Right, so I need to tie that gate up. Really tend to do last night, but we decided not to because just in case something came out, got out, we weren't gonna be there, were we? So barriers there, got one barrier, two barrier, bar. Look at that, I, I thought a bar across the whole way would have worked really well. And, uh, I was outvoted, so I lost. But anywho, we might get out there, we might have to bar that chain there. So we're going to put the car through here. This is the part where it becomes absolute carnage. So Luke's just going to push it. There we go. 
grass cuts up. Yeah, you're about right there. Cows happily munching away, which is good. Tasty, tasty. Right, so the pen's ready. Everywhere's bedded up. Let's get these calves moved. It's going to be carnage, isn't it? Yep. This is going to be carnage. What? Right, so we wanted 25 in that pen. There's 11 in the calf bill, and we've just pulled out 22. So that makes 33. 25 is pretty close to 33. Said no one ever. Car Nidge. Definitely not your pen. Hey. It, it would have just fallen off. There's no reason why it would have been on. Well, you don't want to put any more in. There we go, look at that. They're in. Good game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 34. I've got, ah, I thought it was 33. There we go, happy days. We we're just saying there is a slight gap. So we've put the bar across. There's a slight gap there. Thin ones might get through. So you get, once you get the feet through, yeah, you're going to get another bar if you want. Yeah, we'll see how we see how I get on. Because they won't go far from each other now. And the reason why I wanted the bale move so much is to get into here, get some calves into here. Obviously it's half, it was cold this morning, half one today. Water trough is not leaking anymore, which is good. They got ventilation, you can just see the dust just going through the, uh, the holes there. This, I did want to make this into like this viewing area, but I need, I haven't got space for animals at the moment. So when I get some more space for animals, this will become, oh, hello. They're in, they're happy, which is great. Good mix of them. Like they're conditioned enough. It's maybe a bit shy, but everything else has got, Read that's got good condition. This is a bit shy, but it's like what we did. 33, 73, so I'll just have to have a look at that, I think. No problem. Overall, everyone's looking good. Calves are living the dream. Happy calves, happy cows, happy farmer. Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. The showroom is back be in the showroom and if anyone remembers it was called the showroom in 2019 I think or 2019 when Canam came and they made it into a showroom when a lot of quad bikes came and we just laugh because it's just anything but a showroom in it really. The showrooms are all the glamorous things. It does the jobs. It makes cars happy. What more do you want? Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Oh TP merch at tompem farmlife.co.uk. See you in a bit. Bye. Ready? Chopper!